Ladies and gentlemen, proxies of all ages, Jane Doe is upon us. Now, I really want to talk about if Jane Doe is going to be that unit that everybody needs to get. Contrary to me being the horny bastard that I am, I think Jane Doe has a lot of good qualities outside of just the physics that we've been seeing on Twitter, you know? Um, but... As I just said, she's got a lot of good stuff going for her, and we're going to talk about that, right? But before we get into that, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell to be notified when the next ZZZ video comes out. Leave a comment about what you think about Jane Doe. Now, let's go ahead and dive into Jane Doe. First things first, I'm going to be referencing two different sites. I do have Metabolics right here uh, for ZZZ. It doesn't mean that this is a definitive guide for it. I'm not going to be looking at the teams that they have listed down below or any of the builds that you guys will do i'm mainly going to be paying attention to like the skills and what they are able to accomplish right so as we scroll down here we know the release date all that good stuff we don't care about that right we're gonna scroll down just to make sure that i get okay so we're in the attack section this site is so confusing to me sometimes so let's go and talk about it when jane's attacks hit an enemy it causes them to enter the nod state lasting for 10 seconds if any squad member triggers assault on an enemy in the nod state and causes the flinch effect the flinch effect duration is extended by five seconds and assault damage has a chance to trigger a critical hit with a base crit rate of 31 percent and crit damage of 50 percent so jane knows like team already is going to be getting a lot of like buffs when it comes to anomaly now we haven't really experienced anomaly too much before in the like if we look at the tier list right we're looking at anomaly the only one that's doing really really well is grace right when it comes to anomaly dps's and even then grace is normally not the front runner of teams from what i've been seeing right most of the people that i've been seeing have been running you know obviously ellen and juyan of course that makes a lot of sense queen yi has been being a awesome you know stun unit but when it comes to anomaly dps's we haven't seen that but i think that's where jane doe is going to take over i think jane doe is going to be an s rank anomaly dps solely because of all of her abilities from her core set right additional ability source spot when another character in your squad is an anomaly character or shares the same faction Jane's physical anomaly buildup rate is increased by 20%, which is huge because let's take a look again at this tier list here and we'll even talk about another character that's coming out for this banner. So if they share, right? Let's, say, let's take a look at that again. If they are a physical anomaly, or bleh, sorry, if it's from an, a squad, bleh, from another character from your squad is an anomaly character or shares the same faction, right? Who we just talked about just a little bit ago? Grace, right? So Grace or Piper are good to pair up with Jane Doe. Who else could she pair up with? Well, for me, I thought when she first was announced that she was going to be a part of this Mountain Lions faction. No, no, no. She's Pubsec, right? Spoilers to all y'all who are waiting to finish this dang story. Hurry up. She's Pubsec. So she pairs with Zhu Yan. She pairs with, where is she? Queen Yi, right? Or she pairs with the new defensive unit in Seth. So Seth already getting to plus for working with Jane Doe. Already the shippers are losing it. We have Jane Doe x Seth Dojin on Twitter, right? <laughs> oh man, not a family friendly video this time. But no, uh, really you have four characters that work, well, four, five characters that work really, really well with Jane Doe right out the gate. You got Zhu Yan, Seth, Queen Yi, for your characters that are of the same team. <sighs> and then you have Grace and you have Piper. So Bingo was his name. Oh, that's really, really good, right? I think it got more, but when it comes to like anomaly, like is it or were you up? You, you might have a couple more. I don't know. But those are the DPSs that you would kind of pair her up with, right? So already got some good stuff there with the increased build up rate because that's a big thing that's the equivalent for for people who are watching this and wondering what exactly is the build up stuff uh so you have assault and stun and all that other stuff that is all basically like a kind of like elemental reactions from genshin and i know people are going to be like and not every video has to have genshin that's where most of my experience comes from get over it right all right so basic attack dancing blades is just your basic attack uh, and then when Jane triggers perfect dodge, defensive assist, or performs a move that deals damage to the enemy, she accumulates passion stream. Upon reaching the maximum passion stream, 
she enters the passion state. Passion state's insane. Uh, physical anomaly buildup rate is increased by 25%. And if you have the above thing where we were talking about with another character of your squad or an uh, anomaly character uh, or shares the same faction, your buildup rate is increased by 20. So that becomes a or 45% boost up, right? That's pretty freaking bonkers. Additionally, if Jane jo Drain Doe's anomaly proficiency exceeds 120, each extra point raises her attack by two up to a maximum of 600, which means that if you have 300 points more of your anomaly efficiency, so if you're at 420, hee hee, pub sec officer with 420, you're going to go up to 600 extra attack, which is pretty bonkers. In the passion state, Jane's skills that deal damage consume passion stream. Activating the perfect dodge or defensive assist regenerates passion stream, and Jade will exit the passion state when all the passion stream is consumed. She got a basic attack, Sal Chow Jump. Uh, entering the passion state grants Jane one use of basic attack uh, when available. Hold the basic attack to reactivate. Launches rapid consecutive attacks upwards, followed by a finishing move, dealing physical damage. Pretty dang bonkers. Anti interrupt level is increased during the consecutive attacks, and Jane takes 40% reduced damage. That's huge! Because again, you want to be able to just deal out damage and not have to worry about, you know, taking too much damage. She's not, it doesn't seem like she's a super glass cannon, right? And of course, she's got way more stuff going on. But let's talk about her special attack real quick. Special attack, aerial sweep. Uh, press special attack to activate, leaps into the air to launch a consecutive kicks forward, then sweeps across, dealing physical damage. Anti-interruption level is increased while using her, or using the skill. Uh, and then the EX, when enough energy, please, or press EX special attack to activate, leaps into the air to launch multiple consecutive kits forward, then sweeps across, dealing massive physical damage. Character is invulnerable when using the skill. Pretty bonkers. Also, look at this mindscape, bro. Ah, oh, damn, J Jane Doe's gonna get me act out. So, that's why Jane Doe is pretty freaking bonkers right i love this kit for jane doe and i love her like she's already taken over the waifu tier list she's beaten zhu yan she's beaten ellen quig yi it's just jane doe for me baby i love me some jane doe so having her pair up with characters like seth right is pretty crucial because of that faction lineup and his defensive to offensive switch capabilities are just absolutely fantastic. I'm not gonna go too much into detail about him, but he's got some really decent abilities, right? Uh, he's got the core passive when uh, Seth uses EX special attack thunder shield uh, rush. <sighs> High voltage, he gains shield of firm resolve equal to 68% of his initial attack up to the max of 3000 points in less than 25 seconds. And when using a basic attack, lightning strike, electrified or assist follow-up, uh, PubSec ruling triggers a quick assist or chain attack, causing another squad member to enter the field, and the squad member gains a shield of firm resolve equal to 68% of Seth's initial attack, up to a max of 3,000 points. That's pretty crazy because I think that's dual. That she, he might be dual scaling, but I don't know. I haven't looked into his scaling bits for defense, but I don't think he does, which means that he's going to be a shielder that also bases off at of attack. So that's going to be pretty crazy, right? But where does Anby? fall into this right ambi's pretty good right ambi is good but unfortunately for you when you're summoning on this banner ambi is not going to be that much of help yeah you could probably run a jane doe ambi team uh and rock somebody else on the side just for the stun character but honestly i think that if you got queen yi you're not going to need ambi but if you didn't summon for queen yi ambi is a good solid substitute so long as you put seth along with her just so that way you could get that bonus for Jane Doe. So, Anby could really help in regards to being that stun unit for the team. Or you don't even have to use stun. As we were talking about with the tier list, you can run a Jane Doe Grace Seth team. You can run Jane Doe Piper Seth. You could run, uh, you know, a bunch of different stuff. Like a Zhu Yan Jane Doe Queen Yi team would be weird, but it could probably work, right? But there's a couple of different options. Ultimately, when it comes to Jane Doe's banner, should you summon? I could go for the Coomer answer and just say yes. <laughs> like, like, dude, I'm wearing a friggin', I'm wearing one of my various lewd hats, okay? Like, I'm gonna go straight for the lewd. I'm gonna sub it for Jane Doe. 
Um, but is she a must summon? I think she might be. It's really dependent because we need a really good anomaly DPS character right now. And to be honest, like, yeah, we have Grace. But once once Jane Doe comes out, I think Grace is going to bump down a little bit. Maybe. Maybe. Don't quote me on that. But Grace is still good. So if you don't have Grace and you don't have... If you don't have Grace, you only have Piper, I'd say something for Jane Doe. If you have Grace, wait and see, maybe. Give yourself some time. But honestly, I think Jane Doe is going to be that character that everyone summons for. I think she's great. All right? I got to look at that freaking Mindscape again. Hold on. God. Hold on. Let, let's blow this up real quick. Let's, uh, let's zoom in. We need a closer inspection. God! Damn! <laughs> but yeah, that's going to be it for me today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to check out also my sponsor, Gamer Subs. Use code TYSTRA for 10% off. Lots of Coomer bait from here, right? So, but yes, that's going to be it for today. Should you summon on Jane Doe? I think so. I think that she's going to be worth your summons, right? But yeah, that's going to be it. Love you to death. And as always, we'll catch you in that next video. Please take care and be safe.